Lolita, light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin, my soul, Lolita. Hello everyone, it is Skylar and today I'm going to be talking about how my fashion evolved. So I thought this would be a good video to make because uh, my fashion changed a lot throughout the years. I used to dress in a completely different way. So I thought I'd just show some pictures and talk about maybe why I wore the things I did and uh, yeah. So we're gonna go back a few years now. So when I first started deciding um, what I wanted to wear, because I think when we were younger we sort of just wear whatever, at least I did. I didn't really care about uh, my appearance all that much, I was just a stupid kid looking to play. but. Uh, when I got older, I started to care more. So uh, that was like around middle school. That's when I decided uh, I wanted to wear black a lot. It's not like I exactly went through a goth or emo phase. I don't really think that that was it for me. It's not like I like the style of just like wearing black. It was more so that I was extremely uncomfortable with myself. It's probably because around that time you hit puberty and uh, I wasn't having it at the time. I felt extremely uncomfortable in my own body. I'm someone who doesn't really like change when it comes to my physical appearance, not really. Um, I think you can especially see this now with my teeth because uh, yes, my teeth are real. I had braces before. I hated it when my teeth were straight because it just looked so perfectly straight to the point where it didn't look natural. It just looked like... It, then it looked like fake teeth. It's not exactly my teeth were fake, but like the alignment was fake and I knew this and I didn't like it. So um, I think looking back on my middle school self, this is probably uh, why I had this mentality. It was very severe at the time. I, I really, really hated my appearance um, in every single way. So I decided to wear black, not because it was cool and I wanted to be edgy, it wasn't really that. It was because I learned um, that black makes you look slimmer. So I decided to wear black to look slim. Keep in mind though, I was never really overweight. I was never chubby even. But I think the fact that during puberty you put on any sort of weight freaked me out. I didn't like the changes in my body, so I decided that I would just cover them. It's hard to even say that this was exactly fashion, because I would literally wear just black jackets every single day. Um, I would always have them zipped all the way up. I didn't want to show anything. I would never wear shorts or skirts or anything. I would always wear just plain old jeans, because I didn't really want to show my legs either. I think I was especially insecure about my legs. So yeah, I just did my best to cover my body up. All, at all times, even in the summer when it was extremely hot and I didn't want to do it. But I guess over time I started to get more used to like my new body. Over time I started to like just zip down my jacket a little bit because even that was just such a big um, thing for me. It was like a huge accomplishment just to zip it down a little until I can just not wear the fucking jackets anymore. So then I think my style started to change to become more, I don't know, stereotypically normal. I don't think I really had the confidence at the time to wear what I wanted to wear because uh, around this time, I started to get into Japan and Japanese culture. Um, this is still middle school, by the way, just like maybe like eighth grade or so. I think this also carried on to, into my freshman year of high school though. I just wasn't okay with standing out at the time. I didn't want to uh, attract any sort of attention. I don't really want to attract attention now, but I wanted to do my best to blend in more. So I sort of moved on from just wearing black all the time because I hated myself to um, just wearing plain old t-shirts and jeans, very basic and boring. But I think at the time I was more so trying to fit in with like, wearing tight fitted stuff because that was sort of, or is the norm here. So I tried to dress to make my body look better rather than to completely hide my body like I did before. But also what happened during my freshman year of high school is that uh, I actually had the opportunity to go and take a trip with my Japanese class to Japan. So this was something I was completely lucky to be able to do. Because when I was in middle school, I was thinking that I would have to wait absolutely years to be able to go to Japan. But there I am in my freshman year in high school and I'm able to go. I think this sort of hype or this excitement sort of lifted up my mood a little bit more. There's also the fact that I just liked Japanese fashion at the time, but I didn't really have that confidence to wear it. So I decided that I would start to incorporate more skirts, which was something that was very new and scary for me. Because um, at my middle school, you would stand out a lot if you wore a skirt. I think people would also start to think that you're like a whore or something stupid. So um, middle school me wasn't having it. So I bought new clothes to go to Japan and um, I included some skirts, which was very new for me. And during my trip in Japan, it was absolutely perfect. It was probably one of the most happiest times in my life. So I think even just like the happiness of um, just having a really good time in Japan sort of uh, built up my confidence or like, my, like how comfortable I am to be able to wear cuter clothes. And my outfits were still very uh, basic in Japan. 
Japan because I was just sort of slowly moving into this cuter sort of style. Although if you look at it, it's really not like a big deal at all. But as soon as I got back from Japan, I completely just went overboard with what I wanted to wear. So I went from sort of trying to be invisible to not caring anymore. So I wore tons of bright colors and more pastels and more dresses and skirts and all that. At the time, I think I was mainly inspired by Fairy K. I don't really know if I would ever say that I uh, wore Fairy K, but I, I liked it. I used to really like Sweet Lolita too. No, not Nymphed fashion. It was Sweet Lolita, completely different. I liked very loud, bright, rainbow colored sort of fashion. And I think this was the time when I first started to be able to really experiment with what I wanted to wear because I didn't feel any sort of constraints then. I completely wore what I wanted to and um, it made me happy. I was finally happy. But at the same time, it's not like I had the money to completely get a whole new wardrobe, so I would still wear like boring clothes whenever I felt like it. But at least I didn't feel nervous or scared to wear what I wanted to. And this lasted all the way until about um, like my freshman year of college. My freshman year of college, I think a big sort of changing point for me in terms of my fashion or my style or whatever was uh, the fact that I was in a little maid cafe. Um, yeah, that was a thing. And um, no maid costumes aren't really like a fashion or anything, but I think this experience of going through something that's so over the top cute and very overboard, I think it got to the point where I sort of satisfied that overboardness in my life. I just got tired of it. It was just too much for me anymore. During my freshman year of college, like maybe the second part of it, possibly also my sophomore year of college, I think, I didn't really know what style I was wearing anymore. I know I was still inspired by like Japanese styles. I wasn't really into that very bright in your face sort of like stereotypical Harajuku fashion sort of thing anymore. So I still wore cute styles, it's just that I tried to tone it down a bit more. My pinks became not as bright in your face, it be they became more like muted. It was basically I was going from a hot pink to a muted, more neutral pink, and that showed in my style. So as time went on, still not really knowing what my fashion was or anything, I get this feeling that I was on Twitter maybe, and uh, I see, uh, I'll put up pictures here, of a sort of fashion that looks like it's really inspired by Lolita, but it's also very obvious that this is coming from a Japanese magazine too. Seeing this really uh, caught my interest to say the least, because um, when it comes to uh, the, well, I guess especially the Japanese Lolita fashion community, every sort of association with the book Lolita is very um, pushed away, they don't want it, which is understandable, that's not like a complaint or anything, but it's just obvious that that's there. I thought it was interesting to see the Japanese market, like, today trying to take inspiration from Lolita, so I looked into it more and I found out that that magazine I seen was LARM, and uh, this is actually how I got into like LARM and especially Nymphet fashion within that magazine. And what I liked about LARM was that they took Nymphet fashion and they really made it fashion. You'll never see them talk about like old guys in the magazine or how to attract guys in general. It's nothing sexual, so I thought it was very interesting to see Nymphet fashion being portrayed in this way, and I think this is sort of what inspired me to even like make these Nymphet fashion videos because I seen Larm and I seen that they were promoting Nymphet fashion in their magazine so I decided I want to do that same thing it's just through social media so I became really passionate about this and I completely um, just jumped into the style it took me a while to really start to build up my wardrobe because uh, I'm still like a college student well I was a college student at the time but um it's not like I have all this money to completely replace my wardrobe from before I started to make Nymphet fashion videos and I started to get big enough to be able to get like sponsorships from companies saying that they want to work with me. So this is sort of like how I started to build my wardrobe up. What really enabled me to completely redo my wardrobe was when I studied abroad in Japan. Throughout my whole time in college, this is when I was really saving up my money, wouldn't use any of it, because I knew I wanted to study abroad and you need a lot of money to do that. And I also knew that I wanted to buy clothes in Japan. So um, I did that, I did a lot of that. And um, now I feel like I'm at this point where I have way too many clothes and it's ridiculous. I think I also forgot to mention, back when I was into like a sort of Harajuku in inspired fashion back in like high school, I really hated like vintage styles. I hated vintage anything at the time actually. I didn't like any anything old. I was someone who liked very uh, new and apparent sort of fashion, so the fact that I was sort of transitioning into nympha fashion, which takes a lot of inspiration from, from like the 1940s and 1950s, this was something also very new to me. So I did a complete 180 there, now I really love vintage fashions. And um, yeah, here I am now. I think I also want to point out that my style in nympha fashion is very much so Japanese fashion inspired because that's how I even got into the fashion. Because I think there's a lot of styles you can get into within nympha fashion 
and it's just that mine is very feminine and girly, but still very Japanese fashion inspired. So remember to follow me on all of my social media. Of course, I'm always posting my outfit photos there, so you can really uh, see how I grow with my fashion as we go along now. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, I have a Tumblr where you can ask me questions. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!